Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. This is going to be a quick video, but I really wanted to show this off because I thought it was really awesome. Now what I have here is a Raspberry Pi 4 running RetroPie. This is actually an image by the dynamic duo called CRT Blast. And you might notice I have another smaller screen up top here. Now this will work with the same size monitor if you really want to, but I figured I'd go ahead and set it up like this. I got a 32 inch HDMI monitor on the bottom and a 10 inch HDMI monitor on the top. And both of these are plugged into my Raspberry Pi 4. Keep in mind the Raspberry Pi 4 has two micro HDMI ports on it. And the coolest thing about this image here is it supports a marquee. So if I go in and start a game, it's going to give me a little information on the top screen here. So I'll go ahead and start this game. And as you can see, my top marquee has switched over. It gives me the name of the game, a little bit of box art, what system we're running this with. It's an arcade game. And overall, I think this is absolutely amazing. Now, for years, we've been able to do this with other front ends like LaunchBox, Hyperspan, and a few others out there using a PC. But we've really never been able to do it with the Raspberry Pi without any extra hardware. But with this image here, and I'm sure more will come down the road, it's totally possible to do, and it's actually fully automatic with this one. All you need to do is flash the image, plug in both of your monitors, and one of the displays will act as your marquee. Now this is going to come in really handy for people who want to add an active marquee to their arcade cabinet. Be it a mini cab like an arcade 1UP or a full size custom cab, you could use this for the top marquee or you could use it as a bottom marquee if that's what you're into. Now like I mentioned, this is by Dynamic Duo and it's known as CRT Blast. I'm actually a really big fan of this, unfortunately I can't leave links. Just do a quick Google search. Now along with dual monitor support with auto detection, there's new custom themes, new boot up and loading videos, and there's over 140 supported systems, so this is a great base image. And I've actually tested the marquee support with several different monitors. I have two of the same exact AOC monitors, they're 1080p, but for this video I figured I'd go ahead and set up a bigger gameplay area. I will be doing a full arcade build using something very similar to this, so definitely keep an eye on the channel, but real quick. I figured I'd show you how easy it is to set something like this up. So here's my Raspberry Pi 4. I'm using an 8GB model, but a 2 or a 4 will work. We have one HDMI cable going to one monitor, and the other one's going to the other monitor. This actually does an auto-detect when you have two monitors plugged in on the initial boot. If you want to use this same thing with just a single monitor, you can, but you'll be lacking a marquee screen, obviously. This is the initial boot up sequence, and on the left hand side we'll have our marquee, on the right hand side we'll have our play field. And yeah, I think this is really awesome. I'm glad to see that somebody has taken advantage of the dual outputs on the Raspberry Pi 4. And I think this is an awesome option. But that's pretty much it for this video. I really appreciate you watching. I figured I'd go ahead and make a quick video on this because it's pretty important to a lot of people who are building an arcade machine with a Raspberry Pi. But like always, thanks for watching.